Um, I love your jeans. Thank you. You look so cool. Thank you. Um, the first season, Jessica was um, determined, focused, and angry. And this season, she uh, had a lot of conflicting emotions. Yeah. So I was wondering um, where you want to see Jessica go emotionally. Yeah, you know, what I loved so much about season one or season two were how like deeply personal both storylines were. Um, but different. I got to explore different things um, within her and um, in my performance, sh show new colors. I think, you know, the season one and two, we, we really looked back um, at Jessica's past. We looked at what made her as hardcore as she is and how isolated and, and she's learned a lot. I think especially in season two, she's learned a lot about herself. She has a lot to live up to. And I, um, I'm curious to see what she does next. Like, maybe, maybe we'll get to see her be a bit of a hero. Maybe we get to see her move forward in a more positive way. Um, you know, uh, maybe, maybe we see her hating herself less. I don't think it's gonna be like sunshine and rainbows for Jessica Jones anytime soon, but um, I'd love to see her, even if it's a small step, a step into her potential. A little bit less of a train wreck. Yeah, a little bit less. I mean, it's still fun to play that, so let's not like... Do you think she'll switch to white wine? Yeah, no, I don't know. I don't know if she's gonna switch to white wine. <laughs> yeah. Thanks so much for your question. Thank you. If you don't mind me asking, what did you want to be as a kid before you knew you were gonna be an actor? That's a really good question. Um, I didn't really know, and I think I think it's that's okay not to know. I think it's so there's so much pressure, right, on young people to know what they want to do by the time they're 18 and pick a major at college that will then get this job. Um, I really didn't know. I, my mom told me I did have one idea when my sister was born. Oh, um, she's a lot younger than I am. She was born with a heart murmur. And I just loved my sister. She was the best thing. I was an only child until I was 15, and when she came home from the hospital, I was like, my precious. <laughs> and so- You're when, still like that. I'm still like that, and she's 20. She's <laughs> my precious. Um, and when she had a heart murmur, I loved her so much, I was like, I want to be a pediatric cardiologist. I want to be a doctor of babies' hearts. I didn't really know what I was gonna do with that. I don't even think I really knew what it meant. Um, but, you know, luckily, I was then exposed to things that I was interested in that were completely outside of, of even my wildest imagination and kind of just went with it. But um, I think the moral of the story is that it's okay not to know sometimes. Because right now, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm kind of twisted with a vet scientist. You want to be a vet or a scientist? Well, those are really, really, really great ideas. And um, do you have a dog? Yeah. Yeah. Stormy. Stormy? I love that name. I have a dog, too. His name is Mikey. And I grew up on a farm, so I had cows and all of that. So there was a moment where I wanted to be a vet, too. I say go for it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, sweetheart. Um, as you playing Jessica Jones, it is a big role to take on, especially as a female in the Marvel industry, because I feel like a lot of male characters, they get a lot of the spotlight, and they do have a lot of strong female characters, but you having a series revolving around a ton of female characters are very strong. Um, how did that change you uh, in the public spotlight, as well as what experiences have you gained from it? You know, I think um, what I love so much about Jessica is like, she doesn't care what other people think about her. 